Erica Bellet and her husband began shopping for a home in 2020. Do you want to go pick a book? Four years, two babies, one dog, and eight rejected offers later, they are still in a rental. I don't think that we anticipated five years into our marriage we'd still be renting. They want to stay near their suburban New Jersey town. Their families are close by, the drive to work is short, and but... The prices of the houses, plus those high interest rates, really make it just unrealistic to be able to afford what it will cost you monthly to own a house. A new NBC News home buyer index shows across the U.S. since 2022, it's been harder to buy a home than any other period in the last decade. The index accounts for factors like median home sale prices, which over the last year are up 6%. Mortgage rates also climbing to around 7% for a 30-year fixed, but also accounts for available inventory. Still tight, but getting a little better, up almost 13% nationwide. The NBC News Home Buyer Index grades the overall difficulty of home buying on a scale from zero to most difficult, 100. In April, that measure was 82.4, near an all-time high. Translation, the average home is almost $70,000 more than the average household can afford. Households like the Bellets. It just doesn't feel like a reality right now. Not of your own doing, but because of just the state of the housing market. Correct. I think if, if we could, we would have been in a house four years ago. Experts say the housing market is unlikely to ease up for buyers anytime soon. Forecasts predicting mortgage rates will likely remain close to 7% through the end of the year. Oh, you want to hold my hand? Leaving potential buyers waiting even longer for that dream home. Brian Chung, NBC News, Lincoln Park, New Jersey. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.